super microscope. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the second part of our 10th lesson. So, in this part, we are going to uh, discuss about compound light microscope and electron microscope. Compound light microscope. Have you seen this? In your laboratory, you can see the compound light microscope. So, this microscope is made by two convex lenses. Two convex lenses. So, here, this microscope is made from two convex lenses. That's why we are calling it as compound. Compound microscope. And also here, we are using light to see the specimen. So, otherwise, we are calling it as light microscope. Compound microscope, otherwise light microscope. And also, we can call it as compound light microscope. There are three names. Yes. So, what is the magnification power? Magnification of developed light microscope is about 2000 times. Yes, 2000 times. And the maximum resolution power. So, we have discussed about these things in the previous video. The magnification power and maximum the resolution power. Uh, I think you know about these things. And resolution power is about 0.2 micrometers. It means 0 0.002 millimeters. High resolution. It is uh, 500 times than the naked human eye. So, in our naked human eye, the resolution power is about 0.1 millimeter. 0.1. Here, 0 0.0002 millimeter. Okay? Now, you should know uh, the parts of compound microscope. Turn to page number 142. Here, here you can see there is a picture of compound microscope and you should know to draw it and also you should know the names of the parts of compound light microscope. Okay, let's discuss these things. This is light microscope otherwise compound microscope. So you have to draw this light microscope in your writing book otherwise you can take a printout in your book. And you should um, make all parts of this microscope. And you should remember these all the parts. Okay, let's identify these parts. First one. First one is eyepiece. So you can use your book. Look at your book carefully. And this is eyepiece. And there is a description in your book. Another page there is a description. Uh, you have to read it. Eyepiece. There is closest lens to the eye. So here uh, there is a convex lens. It is closest to the eye. Because we observe the specimen through this eyepiece. We put our eye near to the eyepiece. So we call this lens the closest lens to the eye. Okay. And... The magnification there are here we can use different types of con convex lenses here. The magnification will be 5 times or 10 times or 15 times. Okay, the specimen is magnified by using this lens, convex lens. And this is body tube here, the body tube and this is arm and this is base. Okay. So, this arm and base are helped to carry this microscope here and there. It is helped to carry the microscope here and there. And the base, this base is helped to, to keep the microscope on the surface steadily. Okay. Then, what are the other things? This is what you said. There are two knobs. A large knob and small knob. We call the large knob as 
Close adjustment knob. Close adjustment knob. And small one is fine adjustment knob. Close and fine adjustment knob. So here, first one. Close adjustment. It is used to adjust the body tube. Adjust the body tube. While adjusting cause adjustment, we can move this body tube up and down, up and down. So here it is used to get a clear image of the specimen. So we keep specimen here. This is this is the stage, and we keep the specimen here. These are stage clips. These clips help to fix the specimen to the stage. So what is the meaning of specimen? Specimen means what is the object we are going to observe from the microscope. The object we are going to observe. So we keep the specimen here on the stage. Then we use fine adjustment to get more clear image of the specimen. Okay. Uh, then these are on the objective lenses. These are the objective lenses. So these lenses are closest lens to the specimen because we keep the specimen here. So we call these lenses as closest lens to the specimen. So here eyepiece that is that lens is closest lens to the eye. So objective lenses there are Three objective lenses. Low power objective lens, mid power objective lens and high power objective lens. The low power objective lens, it has the least magnification. Magnification power is very low. It will be four times, five times or eight times. Then second one, mid power objective lens. It has medium magnification. It will be uh, about 10 times and the last one the high power objective lens it has highest magnification it will be 40 times so we use here three objective lenses to observe the specimen then this is the stage i have discussed this one then diaphragm what is the diaphragm we are using the diaphragm to control the amount of light obtained to the specimen here we can control the light. And this is a mirror. Uh, we can use a flat or concave mirror. Concave means or otherwise we can use flat one. So it is used to focus light onto the diaphragm. We can focus the light onto the diaphragm by using this mirror. So these are the parts of light microscope and you should know what is these parts and you have to name these parts and also you have to know the jobs of each parts. Okay? You have to do one thing. You have to make a report or small book on history of the microscope. You have to find the history. Uh, do you know who was first made the microscope, compound microscope? So he is Zacharias Jensen. Zacharias Jensen. Uh, the magnification power of it was nine times. Turn to page number 143. So the scientist and also you can see the compound microscope, the magnification power was 9 times. But, did you know, the honor of making the microscope first goes to Dutch scientist. Dutch scientist means all and the charting. Dutch scientist Anton van Leeuwenhoek. Here, Anton van Leeuwenhoek. What is the reason? Is that... The word not seen from the naked eye was revealed by 
this instrument. It was Anton Van Leeuwen who. So you should know these things, the history of microscope and other things. You can add those uh, information to your book, the history of microscope. Okay, you can make it. Uh, then we are going to the next part. How to use the light microscope. You should know how to use this one, the correct method. Okay, let's discuss these things. So we can discuss one by one. So first, we have to keep the microscope on a horizontal table. We have to place this microscope on a horizontal table steadily. And also in a place where strong light will not fall. So strong light is not suitable for the light microscope. Then we have to use coarse adjustment knob. What is this one? Then use coarse adjustment knob. We have to get a low power objective lens down. Yeah, we have to down the low power objective lens by using coarse adjustments. By adjusting, you, we can put this low power objective lens. Then, using mirror and diaphragm, we can take the clear spot of light to the stage. We can take clear spot of light. Then we have to fix the slide here. So how can we prepare the slide? So we have to take a glass slide, this glass slide, and place the specimen in the middle of glass slide. And we have to put a drop of water and cover with the cover slips. We can cover this with the cover slips. And then we can fix the glass slide or specimen on the stage by using stage clips. Okay. Then bring the low power objective lens upward using the rough adjustment. So here we have taken the low power objective lens. Then using coarse adjustment we have to take upward until they get a clear image. We have to take upward. So during this process we have to open our both eyes and keep comfortable eye at a distance of 1 cm to the eyepiece. So we have to put our eyes here. 1 cm distance from the eyepiece. Okay, understood? Then using fine adjustment, this one, using fine adjustment, we have to take a clear image of the specimen. So we can take middle power objective lens. Also we can take high power objective lens. And we can observe or clear, clear and sharp image we can obtain. After observation we can upward the low power objective lens. Then we have to remove the specimen from the stage and use dry piece of cotton cloth and wipe the stage. Okay, so these are the steps of how to use compound light microscope. There are some factors to be considered in the use of microscope. So when using the microscope, you have to consider on these factors. So what are the factors? We will see. When you are carry the microscope to one place, to another from one place to another so the arm of the microscope this is the arm the arm of the microscope should be held on your familiar hand familiar hand means uh, mostly in your writing hand and the other hand should keep below the base so your familiar hand on the arm and other hand kept below the base and you have to hold the microscope towards your body. Okay. Then you have to wipe the stage after using the microscope by uh, clean piece of cotton. You have to uh, wipe 
the stage by clean piece of cotton after using the microscope. Then, if the microscope is not used for a long time, lenses should be removed. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 lenses. 1 eyepiece, that is a lens. And there are 3 objective lenses. So, we have to remove these uh, lenses and we have to place in a desiccator with silica gel or anhydrous calcium chloride. So, these silica gel or uh, anhydrous calcium chloride will absorb water vapor from the atmosphere. So, these lenses will be saved in a desiccator. Then, the microscope should be stored in an upward position. So, it will minimize the accumulation of dust. And, we have to use clear slides and cover slips. Here, we have to use clear slides and cover slips. And last one, do not change the lenses of one microscope to another. So, in here, there are lenses uh, IP in eyepiece and there are three objective lenses in this microscope. We should not change these uh, lenses to another microscope. That is last one. So, uh, keep remember these factors when you are using the microscope.